hello guys in this uh, video so starting with the name of Allah uh, today in this video we will analyze the effect of geotextile reinforcement on the stability of embedment using the Ploxy software so uh, we will do two cases uh, one with the geotextile reinforcement and second without the use of geotextile uh, reinforcement uh, effect on the uh, stability of the embedment. So here is a case study uh, that we have. Uh, this is the cross section. Here is a ditch and retaining bank, and here is the hydraulic fill. And we have to analyze the stability of this embedment. It's a soft soil underneath. So this is how we will model in the Ploxy software. So let's open the Ploxy software. new product okay here is uh, geotextile reinforcement you can add anything in the title plane strain model 15 noted element we will use uh, i have already explained these things in the previous videos that is why i'm not uh, considering these things uh, in too much details so eight here i will select the 0.5 spacing just to uh, Check, uh, just to have the influence of 3.5 value or 4.5 value i can select uh, the 3.5 value if i have used the spacing 0.5 on the grid so i will select ok now here i will select this one 33 here you can see the two divisions are equal to one unit of the geometry so if it is 30 then it is 31 it is 32 it is 33 here so that is why I will swipe this one just below that. Okay, now 3.5 I have to move upward like this. You can see uh, I will be providing the notes in the description. You can join our Facebook group as well with the same name as uh, my channel is. The link is also given in the description. So now in the next step, I will have to for this point and the coordinates are given over here. I will remove this one. 4.5 and 8 in the horizontal and 5.5 in the upper direction. So 4.5 if you see lies here just below this point. This one and 8 uh, here lies over here this point and move upward 5.5 over here and this is how Yes, this one. Okay. So in the next phase, I will select this point, and the next step is to draw this this thing. That is uh, the coordinates: nine point five, five point five. Nine point five lies over here, and six point five up. So here is uh, six point five over here, this point, and twelve in this direction. Yes, here. Yes, there. Yes, next step is to draw this one. And here you can see the ditch. Yes, over here. I will select this point, it is 1.5 here. One in horizontal direction. And just join this point. Okay. Now the next step is to provide the standard fixtures. The purpose of the standard fixtures is already explained. Now the next I will define or model geotextile over here. The geotextile is provided over here with the geogrid option available over here. I will start this to it is uh, horizontal direction is 26 units. So like this. Now the next step is to define material properties. I will go to the new and clay, soft clay, and here you can see the material properties. Uh, it is undrained condition and for clay. Thirteen point five is the unit weight. Thirty point five is the unit weight. So undrained condition. The model will be used. Thirteen point five. 13.5 so here uh, 
Next is to define the probability, the value is 0 0.01, 0 0.01, 0 0.01, 1, 0.01. The raw meters are 2667 is the stiffness, 0.03 is the Poisson's ratio, 10 is the cohesion, 5 is 0 due to the undrained conditions in the clay, you can see in the material properties given over here. And I will be selecting the color like this. Okay, I can change this as well. Okay, the next is retaining bank, it is drained, and the unit weight is sent 13.5. Kp uh, kilometer per meter cube 13.5 kilometer per meter cube permeability is one permeability is one two double six seven zero point three three the properties are given in the handouts that will be given in the description you can check the cohesion is uh, five for this. 20 is the angle of internal friction for this case. I will be changing the color. Yes. <coughs> and you, you can see the properties over here for retaining bank. And now the next is hydraulic flow. Rain water, 18 is the unit weight, unsaturated and saturated, probability is 1, probability is 1, this is 4000 in this case, 0 0.33, cohesion is 3, 30 is the amount of friction. Now I have to change the color over here. Yes, this one. No. Now the next thing is to assign the properties here. Click. And then I will define the uh, geogrid. The properties of the geogrid are geotextile is 2500 kilometer per meter okay I will drag this to assign the properties now the properties have been assigned so hydraulic fill here here and uh, retaining bank over here okay now the properties have been assigned. The next step is to generate the mesh over here. Generate mesh. Update initial conditions. Okay, the phreatic surface lies over here. At this point, generate for water pressure. Click over here. Okay. Update. Now I'll have to switch to the generate the initial stresses. Uh, you, can, uh, you can see here, firstly, sorry, I will have to deselect this one, this one, and this one. Because initially, in, uh, for the initial stresses, there was no retaining bank or the hydraulic fuel. So that is why we have to deselect these points. Now I will go over here. So now, here, the clay is undrained. Uh, in clay, there are undrained conditions. So the Jackie's model will not be used. What is Jackie's model? 1 minus sine phi. For clay, phi is 0. 1 minus sine 0 is, is equals to 1. So that is why the uh, 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 for k naught procedure, initial stresses are 1. But in clay, this will not, uh, this formula will not be used. We'll use another formula that is given in the handouts. I will provide, you can check that formula. According to that formula, the value is 0 0.5. Point five over here. 
For rest of the five layers, we will use Jackie's model that is in our procedure. So, okay, update, and in the next phase, we will start the calculation. Yes, save it. Okay, now so now the calculation uh, will start from here in the, in the first phase. We will define parameters. Define in the first phase. This will be deselected, and we will activate the geotextile embedment, and will make the excavation. So update next parameters define. Update next parameters define. Yes, this one update. Now I would have to select the points for the curve. Point for the curve is this one update. Calculate okay. Now the calculations have been started. Okay, now you can inspect the output uh, from here onward, but uh, you can see the deformed shape over here. Now we will move to the calculation program and we'll go to the next phase. Here we will select the feasible reduction model for analyzing the factor of safety. Parameters, okay, define. This should be 0 0.1, this should be 1. So, okay, calculate. Now it will take time to complete the steps. It will take some time to complete these steps. Now the calculation for factor of safety analysis is complete. We can go to the output, deformations, total displacement, and here you can see the uh, slip surface. Now, to check the factor of safety, view calculation info, and here you can see 1.341 is the factor of safety for using the geotextile. Okay, now we will analyze the factor of safety without using geotextile. So, what we will do, we will define the next phase. In the next phase, we will start from initial phase. Uh, why I have selected this just to uh, 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 eliminate the effect of these phases. So that is why I have selected this one. Parameters defined for this phase. I will deselect this one and select this one. Update. Now I haven't uh, activated the geotextile. Next phase. Parameters defined. I will activate this layer, update, next, parameters define, yes. look I haven't activated the geotextile here, it means the analysis will be without the effect of geotextile reinforcement, so this is the difference update, now I will perform the calculation, then in the last step we will perform the factor of safety analysis uh, for the second case that is uh, without the use of geotextile reinforcement. Now the calculation for this step is complete. Now you can inspect the output but I will directly define the next phase that is to check the factor of safety of uh, this without using the geotextile reinforcement. You can check the parameters defined over here. This is uh, increment for safety factor. So now I will perform the calculation. So you can see the calculation has been started. For the first case, 
uh, we had the uh, factor of safety that was 1.341 and for this uh, case we will check how much there is a difference for the factor of safety uh, without the use of geotextile reinforcement. It takes uh, some time to complete this calculation because it involves too many steps to complete this one. Now I will go to the output and now I will see, uh, you can see the deform shape as well, how it will deform, but I will directly go to the uh, calculation info and here you can see in that case the factor of safety has been reduced from 1.341 to 1 that is very critical case so yes okay you can also plot the uh, curve go to curve program and you can generate the curve as well so you can see the uh, deformation total displacement and shadings and in this case you can check the the uh, slip surface the slip surface will lie over here when we analyze the uh, effect of geotextile the slip surface was like this so slip surface was moved uh, backwards so and this is how we can analyze the uh, effect of geotextile reinforcement on the embankment using the proxy software so i hope you like the video uh, if you like the video don't forget to subscribe uh, in the next video you know, of the Ploxy software we will be discussing some new aspect uh, some new analysis uh, also on the channel we we upload the videos of geotechnical laboratory tests and theoretical concepts as well also we, uh, we will have the tutorials of slide software so thank you and keep watching and keep sharing